Can you win in the lottery? The lottery has been getting really huge recently, shattering previous highs and even breaking the $2 billion threshold a while back. And like any progressive jackpot, the big question is, is there a point where playing becomes profitable? Let's find out today on Jack Ace. What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com where I try to use my degree in actuarial mathematics for good. And today I'm gonna to show you a calculator that I've created for calculating the value of a lottery ticket when given the estimated grand prize. The US has two popular multi-state lotteries, Powerball and Mega Millions. These two lotteries have very similar structures with a common pool of numbered balls where five numbers are chosen and what I call an oddball pool where a single number is chosen. The number of balls per pool and the payouts are slightly different for each, but the odds of winning the grand prize in each are both pretty close to one in 300 million. And both lotteries have a very important stipulation that if there is more than one grand prize winning ticket, then all the winners will split the amount allocated to that top prize. So right off the bat, since the cost of a ticket is $2, it's pretty easy to see that a grand prize of $600 million would pretty much cover the cost of buying every possible combination. You're basically buying every single unique combination and spending $2 to buy each of the 300 million combinations. And if we assume that you'd be the only winner, then you'd make all of your money back because besides the grand prize, you'd make back 12 to 18% in winnings from the smaller prizes or about 72 to $108 million. And I was interested in finding out what the exact break even point was, so I created a lottery expected value calculator. Like most of the stuff I do on jackace.com, my code is open source and publicly available on GitHub. Check out my profile on GitHub where I have many publicly available repositories, including my roulette bet analyzer, my Baccarat solver, my palindromic tip calculator, and even my site, jackace.com. But today I'm here to talk about my Lotto EV calculator, which is also on GitHub. To check out the Lotto calculator, go to lottoev.jackace.com. You can click on either Powerball or Mega Millions, depending on which lottery you'd like to analyze. It will populate all of the small prizes and it will default to a grand prize of $100 million. From there, you can increase or decrease the grand prize value to the current jackpot, or you can set it to the amount you plan on winning. Click calculate and it'll show you your expected return percentage and it'll display a graph of how much each win will contribute to your overall EV. So on with the demo. So this is the Lotto EV calculator by Jack Ace. The URL is lottoev.jackace.com. When you get here, it defaults to the Powerball settings, but I'm just gonna click it again. When you click on Powerball or Mega Millions, it'll pre-populate the payouts for all of the wins and it'll pre-populate the ticket cost, the number of balls in the main pool. For Powerball, there are 69 balls in the main pool, nice. And for what I call the oddball count, that is the single ball that is picked in addition to those five balls. For Powerball, there are 26 Powerball numbers to choose from. For Mega Millions, there are 25. When you click on Powerball or Mega Millions, it'll already perform the calculation for you, and it also assumes a $100 million grand prize. With a grand prize of $100 million for Powerball, the overall return is only 33%. So if the grand prize is $100 million and you spend a dollar, you would expect to get back 33 cents of that dollar in prizes. And about half of that is coming from the expected return of the grand prize. So, so besides this 17%, you're getting it back around 16% in these smaller prizes. So 4% back for hitting five balls without the Powerball, where you would win a million dollars. This line here is for four balls plus the Powerball, where you win $50,000. There's about a one in 900,000 chance of that happening. And that constitutes about 2.7% of your money coming back. So depending on the size of the grand prize, this number here, this percentage will go up. If we double this from 100 million to 200 million, you'll see that the expected return is gonna jump from 17% to about 34%. So that's what we see here. And we see this slice of the pie has grown. This is the overall return from all these prizes here. So this went from being about 50% to being about two thirds because 34 is about two thirds of 50%. And we can double this again to 400 million, and you'll see that this jumps to 68. It went from 34% to 68%. But still, with a $400 million grand prize, we still are not getting our money back. 
And we should know that at 600 million, which is what I'm going to put in here, you can see that the probability of winning is about 1 in 300 million. It's actually 1 in 292,201,338. If we were to spend $2 on every combination, we would for certain hit the grand prize. So we actually do have enough money to spend on every combination if the grand prize is 600 million. You can see when I click calculate, the return is 118% of every dollar that you put in. So for every dollar you put in, you're going to get back an additional 18 cents on top of your dollar. We do know that this is a profitable situation if we ignore things like the penalty for taking a lump sum and if we ignore any taxes you might be responsible for. So what's the sweet spot then? If we change this to 491 million, you'll see that it's almost exactly 100%. So this is about the break even point. It's probably just a couple thousand dollars less than this value. And at this point, 80% of your return is coming from this giant jackpot. And that's pretty much what we would expect. All these other percentages are pretty static. This is always going to be about 4.2%. This is always going to be 2.7% for the third prize. Winning $100 is going to be 0.13% and 0.345%. It's always going to be like that for hitting four numbers or three plus the Powerball. So for Powerball, the break-even point is about $491 million. So you probably want to double this if you take the lump sum because you pay a penalty for taking a lump sum as opposed to getting it paid in installments over a 20-year period. And on top of that, you probably want to add between 50 and 75% more to account for taxes you might have to pay. So the recent mega Powerball jackpot was actually $2.2 billion. And what does that turn out to be? That's almost a four times return on your money which is about reasonable to start thinking that you can make money on gambling on the Powerball. But of course, this all assumes that you're not going to split it with anyone else. And that is a pretty big assumption. Because as the jackpot gets higher, more people are going to play, and then there's more possibility of you having to split the jackpot. Now, the person that won was a single person from Altadena, I believe. <laughs> Here, for every $2 you spend, the, each ticket is worth about $7.80. This is a pretty good bet, but of course, most of that value is coming from winning the grand prize. So if you don't win it, you're still only getting back that 16%, unfortunately. So now let's look at Mega Millions. I'm going to click on Mega Millions, and it resets all these values to the payouts associated with Mega Millions. It also changes the max number for the main pool, which is 70 different numbers, and it also changes the oddball or mega ball number to 25. The mega ball number only goes to 25, despite what you might have learned on Lost. So this also resets the grand prize to $100 million. And based on this payout, we're only getting back 28.87%, which is less than the 33% that we were getting from Powerball. So overall, Mega Millions is a lower value than Powerball. Powerball, there was a 1 in 292 million chance of winning the grand prize here. We have 1 in 302 million. And like Powerball, if we just multiply this number by the ticket cost, which is $600 million, rough estimate, click Calculate, and you can see that we do have a positive expectation for every dollar spent. So for every dollar spent, you would stand to profit 11 cents. But like with Powerball, you can see how much of that value is coming from the grand prize, from winning the grand prize. Of this 111%, 99 of it is coming from hitting the grand prize. We have a ticket value of $2.23 when the cost of a ticket is only $2. So what's the sweet spot for Mega Millions? I've actually done some playing around. It's about $531 million. If I hit calculate, you can see this is 100 0.1% return. So 0.1% of every dollar spent, you would be getting back in profit. And I think recently the Mega Millions hit $1.4 billion. So if we calculate this, you can see the value of a $2 ticket is $4.87. So that was, yes, a good time to play the Mega Millions. So yeah, this is the Mega Millions. This one has lower value than the Powerball. And you can just adjust this grand prize to whatever value you think you need to win or what the value is currently for the current jackpot. So go ahead and change this grand prize value to whatever the current jackpot is. 
Uh, all these lower values should be pretty static. So another thing I wanted to showcase was this pie chart here. These slices correspond to each of these expected values that you get per dollar spent. And this pie slice says 17%, but that's 17% of each dollar that you spend. It's not 17% of this pie slice because you can tell that this is more than half of the pie. And the reason this is more than half is because 17 is more than half of the 33% that you get back per dollar spent. So there you have it. To break even, you'd need a grand prize of about 491 million for Powerball and 531 million for Mega Millions. Anything above those numbers is gonna to contribute to your profitability in the lottery. And you can scale up from there to account for the lump sum penalty and any taxes that Uncle Sam is gonna take away. And hopefully you don't have to split the prize with anyone else. If you want to know how to lower the odds of splitting the grand prize, you can watch my other lottery video here. If you enjoyed this video and playing with my tool, be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Always gamble responsibly, and peace out, donkeys.